All right, what is up, everyone? This is my review on the Nikon Coolpix S4100 point-and-shoot camera that does shoot in 720p HD video and does have a 5x optical zoom on it. Um, this camera is one of Nikon's older line of Coolpix cameras. Um, it is the S4100. It's not the newest one out. Um, um, I'm at standing in front of this field right now. Uh, it's like all green and everything. And I'm going to get up close to some of these leaves on these whatever kind of plants they are. I don't know. It looks like there's some beans hanging off of there or something. Um, but let's get up close to these leaves. And you can see it does look uh, pretty good. The green is pretty bright. Um, you can change the exposure on this camera. Um, you can turn on wind reduction. You can do a self timer on here. You can do smile detection. It also does have a pretty cool editing software built into it. And you can draw on pictures, put stamps on them, put frames on them, uh, all that stuff. So it is really cool if you like to edit your pictures for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, this is a very good camera for the price. You can get it now on eBay or Amazon for around 50 to 60 bucks. So you're not going to be putting out a big deal of money on this camera. Um, this is probably about as cheap as you're going to get a camera this good. I really do like this camera. I've had it for a long time, so I've got to use it a whole lot, and it has not broke on me. I've dropped it a couple of times, even on the pavement, skateboarding. So it is. The build quality is pretty good, even though it is kind of a plastic. It does come in a couple of colors. I do have the plum color because that is the only one that they had on eBay for a, a lower price when I got this. But of course, they're all lower prices now. Um, there's a black. There's a red that looks really good. I like the red. I wish I could have gotten it, but they didn't have it. Um, it does look pretty good. Um, the quality is not going to be as good as um, this camera could put out. One, because I'm using a Class 4 SD card, and that's the lower quality SD card. Um, I should have put my Class 10 SD card in here, but for some reason I didn't. Um, also, another reason is because YouTube brings down your quality dramatically. Uh, if you didn't know that, yes, it does. Um, as you can see, you can see the blue in the sky. It's not a very sunny day out today. It's actually cloudy. As you can see, it's been raining a pretty good bit, and... Um, so this video quality isn't going to be the best because the sun's not out, the sun's not shining. It's kind of dark and just blank, like nothing has a lot of color right now. Um, but yeah, the quality on this camera is pretty good. I really have enjoyed using this camera just because I can put it in my pocket, take it with me where I want to go. Um, it only is 720p, so you're not going to be getting 1080p HD video, um, but I guess 720p will do if you're just wanting to make little videos. Um, let that car go by. But as you can see, let me stop right here and show all the shed. That scene right there does look pretty good with this camera. The pictures are even better. It does have a 14 megapixel um, picture quality, so that's pretty good. Um, the screen on it is touch screen. That's pretty cool, too. Um, and the screen actually does look really good. I was really surprised uh, at how good the screen looked. But yeah, it does have a macro mode on here. Um, it has pretty cool features. I'd really suggest picking this up if you just need a camera to take pictures with or stuff.
the zoom quality is not that good. If this video helped y'all out any, please hit that like button below. Um, comment if you have any questions regarding this camera or anything. Um, subscribe for more videos like this. Um, please no bad comments below. I don't really like having them in my videos. This video helped you. Like.